Bonsoir tout le monde. Greeting to everyone qui est déjà connecté à soi. Uh, my name is William Mark. I'm very happy to uh, have this opportunity again that we may come, we can come together to study uh, the Word of God. Um, I'm going to remercie nous tous qui déjà qui branché pour nous capable étudier ensemble à soi. We have a very important topic. Uh, sujet nous à soi est vraiment, vraiment important. So, je dis bon Dieu merci pour tout le monde qui est déjà branché. Uh, nous pas perdre du temps parce que à soi, c'est deux chapitres que nous allons lire. Nous allons étudier deux chapitres à soi. Hein. So, nous pas perdre du temps, nous allons commencer rapide. Et, et pour nous capable faire ça, qui est m'inviter nous, pour nous prendre en position, pour nous capable prier. Let's, let's go ahead and say a word of prayer before we get started. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for uh, your presence. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for your many blessings. As we now, Lord, come to you, uh, asking for anoint the anointing of your Holy Spirit as we study together. Please, Lord, we know for a fact that when we gather together, uh, you are in the midst of us, and Satan also is present. So, Father, we pray that you would uh, get rid of any demonic spirit that would try to cause any trouble tonight. Father, we pray that you would be with those that are still trying to get on the on the line. I pray that you would make it easy for them. May this may the study tonight be a blessing to all. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, saints, um, uh, bon, j'aime dire vous dire non. Si que nous uh, gain question, nous pas mettre faire uh, mettre qu'un des questions au bon petit moment, alors que nous pas et ma fille fait exposer hein. Et si que ou gain une question tout penser ou gain va texte ou gain va texte question en 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 free conference call app là que va utiliser hein ou capable faire ça all right à soi un ces sujet très très important j'aime te dire nous we have we are going to do chapter 19 and chapter 20 of adventist home chapitre 19 chapitre 20 non foyer foyer chrétien et c'est qui pourra parler sur uh, qui côté pour nous établir famille nous attend dans des temps ça que la vivre là très 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 important si vous avez un monde invité et eh bien mais que tout le monde là brancher sans problème à soi parce que son sujet que nous avons pour tout le monde um, et eh bien qu'il y a une opportunité pour tendre les alright so uh, again nous allons commencer avec uh, chapitre 19 là. Si vous avez une question, je me dis là, just hold on a moment. Uh, when we, after we uh, uh, after we do the lecture, we'll go ahead and do question and answer. And when we get to question and answer, you can ask any questions you you have. Okay? Vous pouvez avoir mes yeux pour poser quelques soit questions que vous avez, même si pas sur un sujet ça particulièrement, nous pas de problème, on est capable. Et avec aide, tout le monde qui est sur le monde, nous avons besoin de nous parler. All right. So, let's go ahead now and, um, and start, get started here. We're going to start with um, uh, chapter 19. The, the title of chapter 19 is Where Shall the Home Be? Où établir le foyer? Le la possession pour, pour nous établir le foyer, pour nous former nous. Qui côté, qui côté, bon Dieu, voulez pour nous établir? Très, très important, chers frères et sœurs. All right, on va commencer uh, with our reading for tonight. Principe devant présider au choix du lieu. Principe devant présider au choix du lieu. Dieu attend de ses enfants lorsqu'ils ont à décider de l'endroit où ils iront résider qu'ils considèrent à quelle influence morale et religieuse ils seront soumis, ou eux et leurs enfants, et à eux et les leurs. In a very important sense, it says, in choosing a home, God would have us consider first of all the moral and religious influences that will surround us and our families. Very important. Leur obsession que c'est pour ça veut dire que vous avez besoin pour acheter un caille. Il dit qu'il faut considérer l'influence 
moral et religieux uh, uh, religieux qui um, sans ce qui pour entourer vous so, ça c'est très important parfois nous chercher qu'on est qui travaille qui dans zone non qui ça me qui bénéfice dans la zone non mais n'oubliez pour nous garder en droit en droit par le là dans l'an qui influence tout le monde au par le Nous devrions choisir le lieu social le plus favorable à notre avancement spirituel et profiter de tout de tous les secours qui sont à notre portée, car Satan s'efforcera en multipliant les obstacles de retarder notre marche vers le ciel. Il ne peut que nous soyons, il se peut que nous soyons placés dans des positions difficiles, car on ne peut pas toujours choisir son entourage. Mais en tout cas, nous ne devrions pas nous exposer volontairement à des influences qui ne favorisent pas le développement de caractère chrétien. Si le devoir nous y oblige, nous devrions redoubler de vigilance et de prière afin que la grâce du Christ nous préserve de toute corruption. It says, we may be placed in trying position, for many cannot have their surroundings what they would, but we should not voluntarily expose ourselves to influences that are unfavorable to the formation of character, of Christian, of Christian character. When duty, call, when duty calls us to do this, we should be doubly watch, uh, watchful. We should, we, should, we, doubly, uh, we should be doubly watchful and prayerful that through the, the grace of Christ, we may stand uncorrupted. You see, saints, Très important pour que nous ne nous mettions pas volontairement dans cette situation pour nous faire cause de la famille nous avons des problèmes. À plusieurs fois, nous avons perdu tout le monde. Et nous parlons de devant qui raison que fait que tout le monde tout a pleuvé les mêmes gens, tout a même les habitudes, les mauvaises habitudes, tout a pleuvé les mêmes gens. Nous parlons de cette influence environnement qui a envahi tout le monde comme ça, chers frères et sœurs. À l'esprit, cette pensée, en choisissant votre maison. Ne cédez pas à l'attrait des richesses, à la mode ou aux coutumes modernes. Recherchez ce qui favorise la simplicité, la pureté, la santé et l'élévation morale. Au lieu de vous fixer là où seuls sont au lieu de vous fixer là où seuls sont visibles les œuvres des hommes ou les spectacles qui s'offrent à vous et les bruits qui vous parviennent vous suggèrent des pensées mauvaises ou le tumulte et la confusion n'importe que fatigue et tourment, allez, habitez là où vous pourrez contempler les œuvres de Dieu. The, as the location for a home is sought, Let this purpose direct the choice. Qui nous le n'a pas cherché en maison les gains nous gains en pensée que nous nous supposé en uh, gain en mind nous le n'a pas choix. Il dit we should not be controlled by the desire for wealth. So nous pas supposé à cause de um, uh, j'aime te dire peut-être travail ou bien pour faire l'argent c'est pas ça pour supposer dig et, et dicter qui côté nous choisir pour nous rester ok or um, et continue pour le dire uh, et continue pour le dire uh, instead of uh, a dwelling where Only the works of men can be seen where the sights and sounds frequent, frequently suggest thoughts of evil. Bien, quand on était, my brothers and my sisters, uh, ou pas qu'à help, but see the works of men or the evil thoughts, parce que, wap, ou expose à eux, quand on passe, même quand on dit, ou quand on dit machine, ou soit pour un la rue, ou dans le billboard, ou tout ap, ça ou fait, ou, they, they suggest, thoughts of evil. So, bon Dieu, voulez-vous que moi, moi, ça m'a fait, nous avons une pensée qui est pure, mais là que nous, 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 nous exposer nos agents de l'activité, ça y est, eh bien, nous ne sommes pas capables vraiment de faire une pensée qui est pure. OK? 
Le premier foyer est un modèle. La demeure de nos premiers parents devait servir de modèle à celle de leurs descendants au fur et à mesure que ceux-ci prendraient possession de la terre. Ce foyer orné par la main de Dieu n'était pas un palais. Dans leur vanité, les hommes se, pla se plaisent à habiter des demeures somptueux, somptueuses et mettent leur gloire dans les ouvrages de leurs mains. Mais Dieu plaça Adam dans un jardin. C'est très important, chers frères et sœurs. Nous voyons que le bon Dieu t'a choisi, t'a formé le premier foyer, hein, qui se modèle nous, nous elle t'est placé à Adam dans un jardin. C'est ça le dit. Il dit, bon Dieu, pas t'as choix, pas t'as essayé de choisir gorgeous palace. Côté qu'il dit, men in the pride, delight and magnific, magnificent and costly edifices. So, nous-mêmes, parce que les hommes nous-mêmes, nous gagnons ça la caille nous-mêmes, nous aimons vanité, pour nous garder des belles bagages, pour nous dire, nous aimons bien caille, mais ceci, mais cela, nous gagnons. But these things, remember, c'est pas eux qui, um, ce n'est pas qu'on peut montrer que nous sommes chrétiens. Vous comprenez, nous avons dit. Relation à bon Dieu, c'est le qui nous a dit. Si vous avez un bel cas et qui vous avez un bel cas, chers frères et sœurs, nous ne pouvons pas dire ça. Et beaucoup de gens font beaucoup de mistakes parce que ça. Parce qu'ils se sentent qu'ils doivent avoir un beau home et des choses comme ça. Le foyer terrestre choisi par Dieu pour son fils. Jésus vint ici bas pour accomplir l'œuvre la plus importante qui ait jamais été faite parmi les hommes. Ambassadeur de Dieu, il nous a pris à obtenir de la vie les meilleurs résultats. Et quelles conditions d'existence le Père Céleste choisit-il pour son fils? Une maison isolée sur les collines de la Galilée une famille vivant grâce à un travail honnête et respectable, une vie simple en but aux difficultés et aux privations journalières, l'abnégation, l'économie et le service et le service patient et joyeux, l'heure d'étude aux côtés de sa mère. So Jesus came to earth to accomplish the greatest work ever accomplished among men. So Jésus Christ vient sur la terre pour venir accomplir le travail qui est plus, qui est plus grand que bon Dieu, qui est un monde qui n'a pas accompli. Hein? Qui genre de maison que bon Dieu, papa, t'a choisi pour petit lit? It says, a secluded home in the Galilean, uh, Galilean hills, a household sustained by honest, self-respecting labor. So bon Dieu, il n'a pas choisi un... On sait de uh, belles bagages luxueuses pour mettre des petites liens. Parce que Jésus, qu'est-ce que tu as bien fait? Le côté de l'idée, c'est à la, à la campagne, à la mon, dans la montagne. C'est là où on était placé. So, si, si, tout ça a une leçon pour nous là-dedans. Parce que Jésus, qu'est-ce que tu as toujours uh, été en contact avec papa? Il est difficile pour être en contact. Là que où on a mis un bruit côté gain bruit côté qui joue gain mon bise il monte sur mouvement monte sur action il il fait le plus difficile pour t'en dévoiler bon Dieu le bon Dieu parle ensemble avec nous des foyers ruraux dans la terre promise en terre promise la discipline du désert fut appliquée de manière à favoriser la formation de bonnes habitudes les hommes ne s'entassaient pas dans les villes chaque famille possédait des terres qu'elle cultivait, s'assurant ainsi les bienfaits d'une vie saine et naturelle. So, euh, euh, ça, c'est exemple. Le peuple israël a été rentré dans la terre promise que bon, la terre promise que bon Dieu était euh, promette. Non, c'était pas. Euh, il dit que chaque famille a eu un propre terre, pas de coller pour la femme. Chaque monde a eu un propre terre pour, pour cultiver. C'est concentré à assurer les bienfaits de une vie qui est qui, qui, qui seulement, non seulement naturelle et une vie qui est saine. So, God has, has chosen, God knows what's best for us. Satan is the one, and I'll tell you this, Satan is the one who wants us to crowd ourselves in the cities. C'est Satan qui veut que nous nous bourrions dans la ville et puis 
côté que ça bon Dieu te voulait pour nous apprendre côté qui paisible nous pas capable parce que toujours une action toujours qui trop bruit et stuff like that OK so on nous on nous attention toujours pour nous qui influence environnement gain sur nous l'influence de l'environnement sur le caractère de Jean. Jean-Baptiste, le précurseur de Christ, reçut sa première éducation de ses parents. La majeure partie de son existence se passa dans le désert. Jean renonça de lui-même aux joies et au luxe de la vie citadine pour accepter la sévère discipline du désir, dont le cadre était de nature à favoriser des habitudes de simplicité et de renoncement. John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ, received his early training from his parents. The greater portion of his life was spent in the wilderness. It was John's choice to forego the enjoyment and lux- luxuries of the, the city life and for the stern discipline in the wilderness. Si Jean-Baptiste a lié, uh, 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 Jean-Baptiste, c'est ça que le nouvel est prêt qu'il sert, Jésus-Christ, he's the forerunner of Christ. And remember, we are a type of John the Baptist. And nous, Jean, il était obligé de quitter la ville pour le habiter ou dans le désert, là, parce que la carte gagne en vie qui la carte connectée à bon Dieu plus. C'est très important, nous avons une leçon là pour nous. Là, loin des clameurs du monde, il pouvait s'adonner à l'étude de la nature, de la révélation et de l'action de la providence. Dès son enfance, sa mission resta présente à son esprit et il en accepta le dépôt sacré. Here, speaking of John, his surroundings were favorable to habits of simplicity and self-denial, uninterrupted by the clamor of the of the world. He could hear, study the lessons of nature, of revelation, and of providence. From his childhood, his mission has been kept before him, and he and he accepted the holy trust. It's a defier de sa capacité de résistance à la tentation. C'est la raison pour laquelle il fuyait le contact permanent avec le péché, de peur d'en oublier le caractère d'extrême gravité. He distrusted his own power to withstand temptation and shrank from constant contact with sin, lest he should lose the sense of his exceeding sinfulness. Gamon qui dit que well, on carite dans les villes, il pas un problème, on pas capable jusqu'à discerner, m'a juste pas fait ça tout mon affaire. M'a juste en mesure de discerner ça bon ça pas bon, m'a pas ça bon, m'a rester ça pas bon. Il il says that même John the Baptist but even trust his own power qu'il était capable, il pas même fait la confiance qu'il était capable de résister à tentation ça qui t'a qu'il t'a pas joindre dans les villes qui t'a pas fait parce que when you come in contact with sin so often ça va arriver car tu vas changer ça va ouais ça imperceptibly you will be you are being changed so le le l'autre toujours en contact avec péché on veut qu'ils vont l'autre pas pour le péché encore that's the issue c'est ça que John uh, John the Baptist lui même lui t'a passé à éviter les avantages de la campagne. Il en fut ainsi pour la plupart des grands hommes de Dieu. Lisez l'histoire d'Abraham, de Jacob, de Joseph, de Moïse, de David et d'Élysée. Examinez la vie de ceux qui ont vécu plus tard et occupé avec la plus grande compétence des postes de confiance. Et la même chose, encore une fois, il parle de the uh the uh, the worthies can nous join in the country home lo habite a la campagne qui avantage go join it is so with the great majority of the best and noblest men of all ages le nous l'histoire abraham jacob joseph moses daniel david elisha lo étudie lo étudie la vie monsieur sao et nous monsieur sao te grand pile grande responsabilité 
et qui ça nous est qui ça nous est pas dire là de la plupart d'entre eux élevés à la campagne ne connurent le luxe que de loin ils ne dissipèrent pas leur jeunesse dans des amusements beaucoup durent lutter contre la pauvreté et les difficultés. Ils apprirent de bonne heure à travailler et leur vie active en plein air donne vigueur et souplesse à toutes leurs facultés. How many of these men, en parlant de tout monsieur nous sommes mentionnés là haut, it says, how many of these were reared in the country homes? They knew little of luxury. They did not spend their youth in amusement. Many were forced to struggle with poverty and hardship. They, earn, they early learned to work in their active life in the open air, gave vigor and elasticity to all their faculties. You see, c'est avant d'aller ça qui gagne dans la campagne que monde va comprendre. Le op travail comme ça, non seulement op 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 respirer et qui fou et qui pur, mais il peut pas aller faire la cau tout. Il doit vivre plus longtemps parce que vous travaillez tout le monde sur vous. Toutes les facultés que vous avez dans vous, vous développez bien. Very, very important sense. All right. So, ça, c'était chapitre 19, là, qui n'est pas vraiment uh, long. Maintenant, nous allons uh, talk about chapter 20. The, the family and the city. La famille et la ville. So, maintenant, nous allons talk about when, when the families are in the cities. And we'll see what's going on when we have the families in the cities. Le danger de la vie citadine. La vie citadine est anormale et artificielle. La, la, la prête au gain, le tourbillon des plaisirs et des jouissances, la soif de luxe et l'extravagance détournent la pensée du but que nous devons. Next is que nous devons oh que nous devons. It, it, it says life in the cities is false and artificial. Now I'm going to say that just a moment. It says the life that we're living in the cities is a life that is artificial. It's a life that is anormal. So we say we are living in a village, so we are artificial. How can we say artificial? Because we don't see some fake way. Dans le sens que, moi, mon ça gagne ça, il faut que je gagne tout. Vous comprenez ce que je veux dire? Je veux m'habiller comme ça, il faut montrer ceci, il faut montrer cela. Tandis que, à la campagne, c'est différent. Dans la vie, je veux faire un show-off. Je veux faire un show-off. Je veux aller acheter tel bagage que je veux me payer, mais je veux struggle juste parce que je veux gagner tout. So, c'est dans le sens de la vie, c'est la vie artificielle artificial to lie. It says the intense passion for money getting, the world of excitement and pleasure seeking, the thirst for display, the luxury and extravagance, all are forces that, with the great masses of mankind, are turning the minds from life's true purpose. Nous voulons oublier qui raison bon Dieu te fait nous, qui raison fait nous vivre. Nous pensons que c'est pour nous le show off Montrer que nous avons ceci, montrer que nous avons cela. But the life in the cities, it says that the life in the cities are, uh, they, uh, they, the li- life in the cities is false and artif- artificial. So c'est, c'est, sous, uh, c'est sous fake que nous y avons le uh, genre de vie. Ça. L'une des tentations les plus subtiles et les plus dangereuses qui assaillent les enfants et la jeunesse des villes c'est l'amour des plaisirs. One of the most subtle and dangerous temptations that assails the children and the youth and the cities is the love of pleasure. Saint, uh, nous tout cap coûté si que nous trouvons nous dans les villes et nous connaissons nous qui est nous dans les villes nous nous capable ouais parfois toutes sortes de habitudes les mœurs qui apprend que vous pas qu'on ait enseigné tout le monde dans votre et il dit the love of pleasure c'est ça qui envahit tout mon nous qui perd qui mange tout mon nous dans main nous so saints we have to be uh, serious about this 
parce que trop de monde toujours mon que pasteur m'a dit pour y aller pour tout le monde mais yeah but there's something that you can do that you're not doing as long as you still have your your children in these wicked cities il y a pas tout ça de mœurs habitude dans mais l'autre tout le monde et puis c'est toi perdre tout le monde là sans pas réaliser ça il n'est pas conforme au dessein de Dieu que les hommes s'entassent dans les villes. Il plaça nos premiers parents au milieu de scènes chapitres dont il voudrait nous faire jouir encore aujourd'hui. It was not God's purpose that people should be crowded into cities, hurdled together in terraces and, te- and, ten- and tenements. In the beginning, he placed our first parents amidst the beautiful sights and sounds he desired us to rejoice, to rejoice in today. So, côté bon Dieu, t'es metti à Adam et Eve là, c'est là le fleuve pour moi, moi ça m'a voyé tout, okay, en plein de la nature. We need to be among nature. That's where where he placed our first parents. That's what he wants for you and I. It it is not God's will that we should be crowded like this in the cities. You know, it's too much. It's busy. There's always noise. You cannot sit down and read your Bible and understand and, and listen to the voice of God because it's too much going on. La ville abonde en tentation. Nous devrions organiser notre œuvre de manière à éloigner le plus possible notre jeunesse des sources de contamination. The cities are filled with temptations. We should plan our work in such a way as to keep our young people as far as possible from this contamination. So, vidéo contamination, frères et sœurs, nous besoin quitter si nous keep our kids away from it. Si ou pas, listen. Si vous choisissez pour pas attendre des messages là, ou bien sous tant des messages là, ou choisissez pour pas en mettre en pratique, then you will have to answer to God. Because nous tout connaît que, tout ça pas qu'on est bon Dieu pas jugeau pour lui. Mais ça ou qu'on est bon Dieu pas jugeau pour lui. So we see clearly here that we need to keep our children away from the cities. That's what he's saying, he's telling us. Parce qu'il dit, il y a contaminé, chers frères et sœurs. Will you contaminate and we need to keep them away from the cities. That's why we're losing them. We're not positive no question why. It's because they are around all these temptations. If you're not paid to me, you can say, what is it? So, it's important for us to listen to what the Word of God is telling us. Dieu ne désire pas que son peuple habite les villes où règne en permanence agitation et confusion. Les enfants devraient en être préservés, car tout l'organisme est per- perturbé par la précipitation, l'excitation et le bruit. It is not God's will that his people shall settle in the cities, where there is constant turmoil and confusion. The children should be spared this for the whole for the whole system is demoralized by the hurry and rush and noise. Logan to tap is our villa. Timon you have demoralize. Timon you have agion say you fast. And we know history law. We have law to pay due, madam, you are causing the habitat in the village of Sodom and Gomorrah. And we have even two sacks sauver avec le yo le rive dans montagne là nous ça vous est fait coucher papa parce que en sodome était déjà corrompu so si mon yo chef frère c'est même dans l'école nous mettez ti mon yo qui a qui trouve dans les grandes villes il y a pas prendre toute sorte de immoralité so this in this in this life saints si que nous vraiment voulez sauver ti mon yo nous gagne des décisions radicales là pour obligé faire les avantages de la campagne. L'heure est proche où de grandes villes seront anéanties et chacun doit être averti de ces châtiments à venir. The time is near when large cities will be swept away and all shall be warned. Amen. Tout le monde, everyone supposed to be warned. Tout le monde supposed, euh, nous supposé avertir de châtiments à Opal River. Oh, si seulement le peuple de Dieu prenait conscience 
de l'imminente destruction de milliers de villes aujourd'hui presque entièrement plongées dans l'idolâtrie. Oh, that God's people had a sense of the impending destruction of thousands of cities now almost given to idolatry. Saint, raison qui fait que ville pas détruit parce que nous ouais ça gagne en ville. Nous ouais et c'est c'est charge qui gagne total capital. Uh, immoralité, c'est ça tout nous ouais. So Maintenant, une destruction pour arriver dans la ville. God's people should not get caught in these things. We need to be out of it because par le tel tellement confusion dans la ville, bien par contre le pas arriver dans la ville qui est impossible pour nous quitter. Sacrifier aux intérêts mondains et à l'amour du gain. Les parents négligent souvent de placer leurs enfants sous des bonnes sous de bonnes influences. En choisissant un lieu d'habitation, ils pensent davantage à leur intérêt de si bas qu'à l'ambiance morale et sociale et les enfants ont des, ont des fréquentations qui ne sont pas favorables au développement de la piété et à la formation du, du caractère droit. Par eux qui condamnaient les, les Canadiens, parce qu'ils sacrifient leurs enfants à, Mola, à Moloch, qu'en a-t-il de vous? Vous faites de coûteuses offrandes au Dieu, maman. Puis, lorsque vos enfants qui ont grandi sans recevoir l'amour nécessaire et ont acquis un caractère désagréable, manifestent une profonde impiété et une tendance à l'infidélité, vous accusez la foi que vous professez d'avoir été incapable de les sauver. So, il dit, par an, maintenant, le nappe l'histoire, un peu d'Israël là, et, et surtout, on dit à vivre en Canaran, yo, Canaran, et yo, et nous, et on a sacrifié tout le monde, yo, à idole. Le nappe lui, par exemple, on dit, wow, comment on fait ça, on sacrifie tout le monde, yo, à idole. Mais attendez, il dit, you are doing the same thing. You are doing the same thing. He says, you, he says, you are making a most costly offering to your mammon, God. And then when your children grow up unloved and unlovely in character, when they, when they uh, 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 show decided impi- impiety and a, and a tendency to infidelity, he says, I don't know how to blame the church. I don't know how to blame the church. I don't know how to blame the church. It's because of the choice that you made to um, to reside in the in those cities, those wicked cities. That's why. That's why we see car getting you Venetian way, I should say. The city n'offre pas de réel avantage. Pas une famille sur cent ne retira un avantage physique mental et spirituel en habitant la ville. Les endroits retirés, les champs, les collines et les bois favorisent le développement de la foi, de l'espérance, de l'amour et du bonheur. There is not one family in a hundred that will be improved physically, mentally, spiritually by residing in the city. Saint, ça est clair. I mean, this is clear. Again, on forme une sous par exemple, on forme une sous-son, l'on habite Vilio, que l'on a une vie qui est meilleure spirituellement parlant, mentalement parlant, physiquement parlant. Très important, chef, c'est ça. Il dit, faith, hope, love, happiness can far better be gained in retired places where there are uh, fields and hills and trees. Donc, so, côté ça, c'est là où on est capable de gagner une vie qui est meilleure. Ça veut dire que... Le moment où ça va avoir, nous choisissons pour nous vivre dans la ville, il ne dit pas un sur cent dans toute famille qui habite dans la ville. Donc, so, si vous n'avez pas une vie qui est meilleure physiquement, mentalement, spirituellement, so, you can't really have a true relationship with God. It's hard. So, well, let me not say you can't. Let me just say it's hard. It's very hard. Because we know there are, you know, a lot of folks in the cities, they're trying, you know. Some of them are trying. They, they have a true relationship with God. But let me tell you, it is harder. It's easier in the country. That does not mean once you move in the country, 
you are automatically a uh, a saint. No, 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 no. What you do when you move in a country, saints, you just make it easier for God to communicate with you. You put yourself in a more favorable position. That's what's going on. Conseil à ceux qui préfèrent quitter la campagne pour habiter en ville. Il lui était bien préférable pour ses familles de rester à la campagne où les conditions favorisent le développement des qualités physiques et mentales. Il vaut mieux sacrifier tout avantage terrestre plutôt que de mettre en péril les précieuses âmes confiées à vos soins. So this is counsel. If you, soon as you see something now, or get plan, peut-être pour mourir dans les, quitter la ville, ça c'est conseil pour vous. Il dit que far a better, better sacrifice any and every worldly consideration than to imperil the precious souls committed to your care, saints. This is why a lot of us are, are, are stuck in the cities. Et parce que it's because of the worldly consideration. Travail nous, association qui nous vit dans le monde. Il y a des gens qui disent l'église, je ne vais pas quitter l'église, je ne vais pas quitter saint Il y a des gens qui disent que, uh, well, you know, je uh, suis tellement à l'aise dans l'église pour te mettre, je ne vais pas plus dans l'église même. Je dis, Listen, if God asks you to do something, you do it, saint. Don't worry about certain things, but God will take care of everything. Ou qu'on pense à me dire, there's no salvation by church association. Vous comprenez ce que je veux dire? Si vous avez un message là, il faut que vous soyez capable de partager avec l'autre monde. Et le message là manque de puissance. Lorsque vous avez un message qui arrive, c'est parce que vous avez habité dans la ville. Donc, so, vous avez fait uh, en plus bien si vous avez pas là, le message vous a fait plus de puissance. Donc, si vous avez un message qui est bon, vous avez confié, chers frères et c'est vous pour que nous cherchions bien, bien net. Nous devons penser à eux d'abord. Better to sacrifice every worldly consideration, whether son travail, promotion, et, et, association et, avec les amis, les familles, better to sacrifice tout le monde à eux, mais pour take care de tout le monde. Et nous, qui est la plus belle façon pour take care de les enfants, ce n'est pas dans les villes, ce n'est pas dans les pays. So, saints, we see it very clearly tonight that it is not God's will, it's not God's will that his children, his people be in the cities. Au lieu d'une ville surpeuplée, cherchez plutôt en quelques endroits isolés où vos enfants seront autant que possible à l'abri de la tentation et la former. Et là, formez-les et initiez-les à une existence utile. Instead, instead of, uh, cr- uh, of the crowded city, seek some retired um, situation where your children will be, as far as possible, shielded from temptation and there train and educate them for usefulness. Au lieu de voir aller dans une ville qui est super plein, il est préférable pour que vous ayez un côté isolé. Mais nous n'avons pas parlé isolé à maintenant. Nous n'avons pas dit qu'il n'y a pas de dans ce côté que vous ayez un côté serré, comme si pour qu'on tout seul ou que là, vous n'avez pas de contact avec quelqu'un d'autre monde. This is not what this is telling you. It's telling you that you need to have that, uh, um, you need to have that privacy, okay? You need to have that privacy where you can raise your children. Where, whatever your children have, I mean, think about these things. Wouldn't you want this? Well, whatever your children have is the things that you taught them, not anything that anyone else is teaching them or they picking up from other children. You know, tout le monde a déjà fait avec une nature déchue. Vous faites avec une nature côté que vous inclinez vers le mal. So, that's why tout le monde a fait, ou vous tout fait dans un sens côté que You, you, you're so egoist, for lack of a better word. In the sense that you always want to do something for you. You don't need to learn to be an egoist. You know, you've already done it with nature, with the mal that inclines to the mal. So, you need to learn to share it. You don't need to learn how to keep things for themselves. They already know how to do that by nature. Si vous déjà gain bagay sa pou pou gumavel, na ou pou gen lot tan dans ce que y a cultivé, y a vinn nan lot ti moun anko, maintenant travail ou vinn double. 
travail vient double. So, that's why il dit que pas gain une famille sous sang qui a qui résidait dans la ville que vio a physiquement, spirituellement, mentalement en a un niveau qui meilleur. Quand l'eau se fixa à Sodome, il s'était fermement promis de protéger sa famille de l'iniquité qui y régnait. Ce en quoi il échoua complètement. When Lot entered Sodom, he fully intended to keep himself free from iniquities and command his household after him, but he signally failed. You see, this is important, saints. Ça vraiment important. Parce qu'en pile moun se sa ou di, on pa bezwen peur, même si nan vil la map kapab, e map kapab enseigne ti moun mwen ou bien, pou mpa ki de tombe nan se ki de, e, 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 um, des od ki gen. Si, lo te gen même intention. Le local Sodom, li te gen tout intention pou leve ti moun li bien, ta kon chrétien, pou yon leve nan kren bon Dieu, san problem. Pot nou el te echoue kompletman. Il ne, il ne sut pas même se préserver personnellement des influences corruptrices que l'entourait, qui l'entourait. En outre, les relations de ses enfants avec les habitants de Sodome l'entraînèrent, malgré lui, à sympathiser avec eux. On en connaît les résultats. Beaucoup de gens commettent une erreur semblable. Oui, je l'ai dit plusieurs, mais on a fait même erreur. Same people are making the same mistakes, a similar mistake. Saints, so let's not do that. Let's not make the same mistakes. I mean, nous gagnons comme un exemple. Nous gagnons comme un exemple. Nous gagnons exemple. Nous gagnons l'eau comme exemple. Let's not repeat the same thing. Bon Dieu, dis-nous, si l'on habite dans le Sahara, influence a corrompu tout le monde pour amener ça garanti. Let's not be another uh, example. Let's not be uh, another uh, statistic. Okay? Parce que ça a déjà fait, déjà bon Dieu dit nous la fait. En nous tant de bon Dieu, chers frères et sœurs. La gueule monde qui convainc, you were, you well, by for a reason, for a reason, for a lot, you, à cause, à la campagne, la vie en plus, um, et, 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 there's a, comment dire ça? It's more challenging in a way. So, mon, you peur. You know, if God said to go, He will make a way. He will make the, He will work things out on our behalf, saints. Et problème là parfois. Vous songez à noter l'une pour une non chapitre qui passait au côté que Madame la Marie a supposé dans même chemin, dans même dans même supposé dans même page. Parfois, il ne veut quitter l'autre avant de quitter. Et puis c'est là qui qu'on parfois cause un problème. See, this is very dangerous too. You know, we can't tell you to just go and leave your people, but this is that's why it's important for you and I to always on our stay on our knees to pray, even when we're choosing a companion, because mon ma foi, si pour faire vivre avec là, à cause, on ou gain ou passer même avec l'eau. Did you know, Madame Lo, tourne on on tourne on the the pillar of salt, le Madame Lo te fait tetli, et puis te tourne statue hein. Did you know it's because of um, some, uh, um, well, part of the reason that, that uh, Madame Lo te tourne statue, hein? part of the reason is because, because of Lo. Lo, le angel dit Lo, let's go, on a allé. Lo pat, uh, pat dit, okay, let's go, let's go. La, the Bible says Lo te um, hésité, he lingered. Because if he fait ça, Sister White says, même esprit qui cause l'eau l'anger, non? C'est lui qui cause madame là tout virer. So même esprit ça affecte madame là. Et esprit des citations à lui, lui aller, lui affecter madame là. So, on conjoint capable de cause de notre conjoint perdu. Et on conjoint capable de cause de notre conjoint par exemple qui était la ville. Et le, 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 I mean, tout le monde bloqué. I mean, pour mon qui vit en Floride. For those that are in Florida, you know, when there's a hurricane, I mean, Walmart, everything, empty in, in a few hours. 
So that 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 is just go to show, you know, seeking on on revolution, something to break out. People can buy or sell, or uh, the food is scarce. Then you can see, you know, I'm gonna here in the ville. A lemon gangu, people do funny things when they are hungry. They people would do things that you would never think that they would do when they're hungry. So. Uh, we need to uh, escape this thing. Um, bon Dieu, by nous, for knowledge, li by nous. Uh, it's like we, it's, it's constantly have to be given by nous to connaissance d'avance de chaque pas arrivé. Why are we not listening to it? Why are we not listening to it, saints? Bon Dieu, dis nous, mais ça pour nous faire, mais ça pour arriver. Why are we not listening? It's amazing. We're not listening. Do you know? Des gens ne sont pas adventistes. Si vous avez un message, vous avez couru avec lui, vous acceptez le rapide. Mais les adventistes n'ont pas été sens. Vous pensez que, uh, bon Dieu, a été que nous continuons. Ce n'est pas un lie of the devil. Un lie of the devil. Ok. Let's continue. Efforcez-vous de choisir pour vous établir un lieu qui soit aussi éloigné que possible de Sodome et de Gomorre. Évitez d'habiter les grandes villes. Si vous le pouvez, fixez-vous dans un endroit tranquille à la campagne, même si en agissant de la sorte, vous vous mettez dans l'impossibilité de faire fortune. Fixez-vous à l'endroit où vous, bénéficiez, où vous bénéficierez de meilleures influences. Wow! What, what a beautiful statement! He says, let it be your study to select and make your home as far from Sodom and Gomorrah as you can. Saint, as far as Sodom and Gomorrah as you can. If possible, make your homes in the quiet retirement in the country, of the country, even if you can never become wealthy by doing this. Locate, locate where there is the best influence. Le moment est venu de quitter les villes. Mon message est le suivant. Éloignez vos familles des villes. Take your families away from the city is my message. This is the message that she has. Puisque Dieu ouvre la voie, le moment est venu pour les familles de quitter les villes. Les enfants devraient être emmenés à la campagne. Que les parents y cherchent un endroit confortable en fonction de leurs possibilités. Même si l'habitation est plutôt petite, elle devrait comporter un terrain susceptible d'être cultivé. The time has come when, as God opens the way, saints, families should move out of the cities. When God opens the door for you, get out. A lot of time, on n'a pour travailler, nous guidons film set. Sometimes, même si avec le peuple israélien, là, l'autre vie est devant Judéen, on était obligé de mettre pied au ladan avant de l'avoir séparé. Some of us will have to move out on faith. You know? It says the parents should get a suitable, a, uh, should get as suitable a place as the means will allow. Parle de gros caille belle bagaille. Just pour ça à côté, mais on va arriver. It says, though the dwelling may be small, yet, There should be land and connection with it that may be cultivated. So, l'option chon kai, you know, yes, ou gouvernon you know, kai, but make sure gen te la dan tou e no fou cultive. Très important. Avant le châtiment qui doit frapper l'humanité, le Seigneur appelle tous ceux qui sont de vrais Israélites à se préparer à cet événement. Aux parents, il adresse cet avertissement. Rassemblez vos enfants dans vos maisons. Éloignez-les de ceux qui foulent aux pieds les commandements de Dieu, de ceux qui enseignent et pratiquent le mal. Fuyez les grandes villes aussi vite que possible. Dieu aidera son peuple. Les parents peuvent acquérir une petite maison à la campagne avec un terrain, un terrain à cultiver ou un verge, ou un verger, ce qui leur donnera des fruits et des légumes en remplacement d'une alimentation cornée 
qui est très néfaste à la circulation du sang. God will help his people. He says that parents can secure small homes in the country. That's another thing too. Mboko jamli aucun na tout le monde appelé au côté de nous je mention in the in the in the country. Gene mon qui dit well, bon Dieu son bon Dieu of beautiful things, he will give you mentions. He may give you, but you cannot fix <laughs> you cannot fix your intentions on mention. If it's God's will, it will happen. But on nous pas chercher ça. Whatever sabon Dieu est bon pour un de la bas. She always talks about small homes in the country with land for cultivation where they can have orchards, okay, and where they can raise vegetables and, f- and small fruits to take place of flesh meat, which is so corrupting the life blood uh, uh, course, um, coursing, coursing through the vein. So, again, low nozums are all going to have to be able to plant the seed of the seed of the seed of Because it's harder to leave the meat in the cities, I'll tell you that, because it's, it's easy to get it in the cities. It's easier. It's, it's right there. Just go get it. You know, McDonald's, you know, Burger King, they're right there. Just go get them. But, you know, so God is calling us away from these things, saints, calling us away from them. Là, les enfants ne seront pas soumis aux influences corruptrices de la vie urbaine. Dieu aidera son peuple à trouver de telles habitations loin des villes. All right. It says, on such places, the children will not be surrounded with the uh, corrupting influences um, of, of city life. God will help his people to find such homes outside of the city. Saints, one question to them. Bon Dieu a aidé nous, joignez. You know, we are looking, we have to keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, bon Dieu, bow. Parce que c'est bon Dieu qui dit nous pour nous faire. Si bon Dieu dit nous pour nous faire, il will make a way, saints. So, um, ça c'est exposé un point à soi. Hein? Euh, nous voyons comment il est important pour nous éloigner nous de grande ville. So maintenant, if anybody has any questions about anything, uh, you, you, you can let us know. Uh, pour les gens qui sont pour la première fois ensemble avec nous, uh, just pour qu'on puisse si c'est une question, si question mark ou bien la screen ou bien if you just call the line, puisse it was six star six, so you can uh, ask your question. We have uh, a question, brother John. Yeah, ce n'est pas une question, c'est une suggestion. Yeah, l'offre de tout ça, so, ça a monté dans la tête, mais je viens de remarquer que nous-mêmes, disons, peuple adventiste, nous avons plus que la, la météo, a dit, euh, comme expliqué, si il a annoncé qu'il y a un cyclone, ou du moins qu'il y a un yon euh yon flotte mm-hmm. ouais tout monde nous préparer nous pour ça cyclone pral la vie tout monde la market acheter de l'eau mettez là acheter manger mettez là a dit nous croire dans ça mettez au dit là pour le gain OK mais lorsque la bible même lui parler bon dieu parler le dit mais qui ça pour arriver so ouais peuple avance là n'a dormi Message ça, nous avons supposé nous tous pour nous prendre en considération. Où est son petit groupe de monde qui a balé? Nous ne pouvons pas même supposer prêcher entre nous-mêmes. Parce qu'il faut que nous gagnions. C'est nous-mêmes pour nous faire balé l'autre monde qui n'a pas gagné. Où est entre nous-mêmes, Adventistes, nous prenons l'autre façon. Gagne ça qui n'a pas là-dedans. Gagne ça qui n'a pas tout. Mais il y a juste prend ça à la légère. Si toutefois on dit jeudi, pour aller en gros cyclone, nous tous n'a préparé pour lui. Mais ça que bon Dieu lui-même lui a annoncé, la petite fois qu'on cyclone, malgré ça n'a pas dormi. 
So, je sais que bon Dieu lui-même, il est capable de faire des derniers coups de crayon. Parce que le message-là, je pense que c'est un sujet que nous, nous frappons sous lui en pile, nous parlons dans chaque côté de nous passer, nous parlons de lui. Mais pour qui ça que nous-mêmes peuvent pas devant cela, nous avons dormi comme ça. Merci. Yes, thank you very much, brother, and I really appreciate that. I mean, et je dis en vrai, message là, un message pour nous avons besoin d'étudier entre nous. Parce que nous avons déjà supposé qu'on est, nous avons déjà gagné. Il faut que maintenant, nous avons marché partagé par l'autre monde. Mais malheureusement, et it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate that uh, the people of God are not getting this. Uh, very unfortunate that that hurts my heart you know the people of God are not getting this truth so um, uh, we just have to keep praying we have another nous avons une autre question ou bien peut-être une suggestion sister um, famille Toussaint gagne pour nous famille Toussaint ok bonsoir tout le monde question que m'a posé étant donné que um, il dit pour nous fuir les grandes villes et pour nous partir ensemble avec la famille. Non. Et si par exemple, si nous avons déjà fait un grand monde, nous avons dans l'âge 18 et hop, comme ça. Et nous avons même nous avons parti. Qui ça pour nous faire? Hmm, hmm. Bon, question en clair. Thank you very much, sister. Nous avons des, des questions. Hein? Et est-ce que vous avez une réponse dans ce sens-là? Parce que la question est très claire. C'est que, if you want to move, ok, like we see it, God says to move when you're trying to move, but you have children that are teenagers, 18, 19, 20, whatever, they don't want to. What do you do? Anybody has something here they want to help us out with? What do you do in that instance where... <laughs> Uh, the children, they, they don't want to go, but uh, uh, now in that instance, si you move, si you move, what are the children, what's going to happen to them? Quand ils vont à qui monde ils vont Est-ce que ils ont un conjoint ou pas là les deux vont et puis tu monde vont être avec ou bien tu monde ça va mettre dans la raison mieux va arrêter. So I'm just wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, uh, it's because it's important to see that, well, let me just wait to see what somebody else has first before I say what I wanted to say. Anybody um, you have an answer? Bonsoir tout le monde, bonsoir ba. Moi même, je pense que je vais gagner pour ça. Si si mon yo um, still under your care, on dit on a talent toujours ou you providing, c'est au cas provide pour you, um, you still see mon. So on pense um, pour supposer um, en tant que parent, mon a supposé qu'à dire ok, let's go, I'm moving, we all moving. Pour comprendre depuis c'est et où qui s'est occupé de mon là. Mais c'est mon assez mon petit calibre. You know, you can work at the travail or in the college or something like that. Then that's on that's on But if you want to say you can provide for you, can buy some food, you can travail. But even if you can buy some food, it's not because it's the food that you have to buy. Because you have to buy some food, you have to buy some food. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Some time they get pushed. Anyone else? Um, par exemple, le monde peut-être qui uh, wanted to share something along those lines. Because um, if, you, if you think about it, tout le monde a son responsabilité. If you knew that was again, j'ai un peu de dans ce dit à l'heure, sous qu'on est pas dans ce cycle, right? And then, we do what move pour nous quitter. And then, tout le monde qui s'en sait, il pas quitter. You know, wouldn't you do everything possible to just get them out? Uh, elder, Elder, I'd like to give you a response. Elder. Oui, hello, bonsoir à tout le monde. Ça, que je me devine de parler. Je me juste ajouter à ça, c'est une news de Dia. Et 
vraiment si si tu me n'as pas agi beaucoup majeur et ce problème ça qui vient la génération ça c'est la grande mode c'est une question de c'est tout le monde qui a dit je parle à l'équipe et moi même moi dis ça c'est une abomination ouais en tant que parent on t'a supposé dire en avant ouais depuis que Maria Madame sont même pas en avant c'est fini en tant que son âge on a signé Dieu ouais Non, non, non. Mon elder, mon besoin même si il te bombarde ça tout, il te montre mon parmi tout petit toujours. Mais pas le pour qu'au 18 ans, pas le pour qu'au 18 ans, ça que le grand là, il quoi et à peine s'il est là et à peine s'il parle, au plus peut-être 15 ans. Mais ça c'est mon qui, on peut s'en aller. Ça c'est mon qui en dehors qui est toujours c'est Oui, en avant, depuis madame sont même pas ensemble avec vous, en allait. Maintenant, euh, dans, dans l'autre cas, dans l'autre cas, côté que si mon nom est un ma, ma, majeur, ou bien il est en collège, ou bien il est en vivre pour compte, ou ouais, il est en train de se ou bien ça qui est en marié, ou bien qui est encore sur campus. Et généralement, c'est une fois que ou même en tant que parent ouais bien que tout le monde a été pas sous contrôle encore mais en tant que parent on ne met pas mon le tout le monde là je ne visite pas la campagne la pour différence là yes yes ni la pour différence là et si ou même le tout le monde a été grand au cap par l'éducation au te apprendre pour considérer la parole de Dieu avec valeur le je ne visite pas la campagne là on montre le ni dans la Bible, ni dans l'esprit de prophétie, mais pour qui ça a fait mon ça, eh bien, puisque depuis le petit, on te met, on te implante l'amour de Dieu dans elle, eh bien, là, quoi, c'est pour le chef, automatique. Exactement. Même si c'est pour ça, moi. Right, right. Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you, elder, uh, pour l'intervention. Uh, um, yeah, so, elder, clair, il dit que, et, Si vous n'avez pas de votre care, then Madame Mama Marie nous n'a même pas. Marie a dit Let's go. Madame a dit Let's go. Si vous Let's go, on allait Let's go. Uh, that's that's what that's what it's supposed to be. C'est c'est société hein. Quand vous voyez des choses, vous n'avez même nous maintenant. Et bien quand on est touché pour ça, parce que moi ma femme a qu'on y est là maintenant, c'est si vous n'avez pas dirigé, si vous n'avez pas vu ceci, pas vu cela, il pas fait. Non. Bon Dieu te dit Abraham, moi, 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 que Abraham a uh, commandé his house hold after him. Avec du bon Dieu, fait Abraham confiance parce qu'il connaît que Abraham a bien commandé, bien levé la Kaili. Si mon qui n'a pas vu la Kaili, c'est très important ça pour moi, moi, ça m'arrange. Nous, nous connaissons que c'est. It's not about us. I mean, it, it's not about well, the kids want this, they want that, or they already have friends. No. You say we're moving, we're moving. See those six kilometers you have gained, you wouldn't leave them behind. You would not leave them. You say everybody let's go, everybody let's go. So that's the same way I see it too. Same way I'm coming with. Um, well, sister, uh, there was a question, uh, sister. Now, well, before I get more, this sister, uh, sister Claire. Well, let me let me let her talk. There was a question. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, on comprend, on comprend ça que nous dit. Um, nous parler des des cyclones and then now tout le monde supposé ready. OK? Mais ici nous voit des petits monde dans même petit monde dans sous trois pau. Um, petit monde dans déjà dans 18 ans, 19 somme. Et puis non, il pas tout non. Il est déjà dans Dans 18 ans, 19 ans, il y a travail comme si yo yo juste comme si bon il va me respecter encore. Ça ça me voulait dire par là que ou déjà qu'on est ici depuis tout le monde a 18 ans que il grand monde. Mais Haïti, même si tout le monde a 18 ans, il still en bateau. Right. Il pas caler tout le monde normal s'ils font bagarre. Ici c'est c'est chance oui 
ou ka pran si ti moun nan fòn yon bagay pou tabay Haiti ou tab di ti moun nan ti moun nan te met gen 20 an 25 an ou di an ale la pou ale men isi ki pa menm chan Yes ah uh, yes m ta le jwenn di an e m ta konnen on sens avèk avèk ou e lorsque isi bagay yo diferan ou de si ti moun nan ah uh, Toujours la caillou, ok? Mais il y a 18 ans. Et nous connaissons, surtout si tout le monde travaille aujourd'hui, la société a déjà montré que tout le monde ne peut pas respecter par an. Et tout ça, tout. Il y a un bateau, elle le dit déjà, il y a un bateau, j'en le dis, tout le Et si il y a un bateau de l'environnement, l'environnement qui est un bateau de l'environnement, qui est déjà censé parfois habiter dans un maître de l'environnement, qui fait une apportation série de façon qu'il a pensé. Et, soit dit à moi, moi, parce que dans le pays, ça n'a pas vu dans vos bagailles, ça me semble difficile. Jean, loi, oui, parfois, il est difficile. Si on ne dit pas, mon grand travail est à Raïli, comme il y a une grande, il y a une force, même. Il y a une grande, il y a une bâton pour prendre tout le monde, pour forcer le train de l'aller. Je ne pense pas qu'il faut faire ça. Mais, Il faut que nous fassions tout ça qui dépend de nous. Pour nous dire, yes, we're going, everybody's going, let's go. Il faut faire tout ça qui dépend de nous. Now, l'autre question que nous avons posée dans le même angle, si madame l'a bien marié, il y a un autre qui veut quitter. Si nous ne pas veut quitter, mais il y a un autre conjoint qui ne veut quitter tout. Est-ce que maintenant, qui ça nous pense? Je vais poser une question à nous tous qui sont là. Qui ça nous pense? Si par exemple, il y a un conjoint, madame nous dit Marie, il y a un conjoint qui veut aller où est nécessité, ou alors la part où est nécessité. Et il y a un conjoint qui est involvé dans la bagaille. Il y a un conjoint qui est involvé dans la relation. Qui ça nous pense? Est-ce que ça y a un conjoint qui a juste levé la lèvre pour quitter le conjoint en dehors avec le conjoint? Qu'est-ce que vous pensez? That the, the Lord wants us to do. Si des madam non, si des madam non qui disent pas font pas, madame dit pas font pas. Si mon Dieu pas parler, est-ce que Marie and Gabriel just uh, buy a, buy a piece of land and just build and just move by himself, or should he just wait and stay? And what do you think? What do you guys think about this? What do you guys believe that should be uh should should sound supposed to go ahead, brother? Yeah, à mon avis, uh si tout femme fait tout ça qui dépend tout ça me fait, non prier ensemble, tout ça non m'a des bonnes directions, tout ça me fait son montre noir sur blanc nous étudions ensemble pour pas vouloir admettre pour aller so moi même t'as parlé je ne suis pas tout tout dernier coup que on fait pas capable ça so, ou pas vouloir accepter d'avoir parlé peut-être l'un dérivé euh, ou t'es t'es capable de venir après vous comprenez même d'avoir parlé même d'avoir fait préparation malgré ça côté que m'y a Je toujours battu mes cigarettes ou je n'ai mal préparé le chemin. Donc, je pense que je fait. Ok, thank you. Donc, so, on va aller dans le sens que pour aller pour aller préparer pour, avec et en intention pour mener. Pour faire. Et bien, bah, aller comme si quitter le monde, nous séparer. Et bien, bah, intention, ça met intention pour que pour aller pour aller préparer. Pour... Yeah. Ok. All right, sister, um, uh, tout ça. Oui. Moi même Jean ouais brother a dit à m'ta parler. Après tout ça que me dit mon tour noir sur blanc, c'est pour nous move. Mais gesay de leur mon nan kon di bon, n'a pas aller. Comment n'a pas fait travail? Comment n'a pas dit yon côté il y a sens mais yon côté tout c'est temps mon n'a perdu. Gesay de leur tout mon nan di bon m m pap m pap mouv bon la m pap mouv bon la pito konn pa gen desisyon egzaktement kote pou nou mouv la 
Tu comprends? Mais ouais, ouais. si mon na si mon na si tout découpe yo 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 mettez tes talons ensemble yo vrai mouvement y a pas de bonne direction et que bon diable bonne direction qui côté pour y aller? Exactement. Si dès là qu'on a chiré puis si la vie c'est au Haïti si la vie c'est ça si la vie c'est ça si la vie c'est ça mais il est vraiment vraiment difficile pas gagner entente entre eux que pour move là si ouais c'est madame n'a pas voulu move ou bien monsieur n'a pas voulu move bien c'est idée le au cas dit bon pour jamais à que bon dieu m'a pas aller si mon qui ça m'a avait l'aller ça que les était avec papa ou avec maman il aurait été mais on va prier bon dieu que pour l'autre la vie ni ni ou vienne jouer non right right yeah um OK mon on va dire um ça m'a dit mon c'est gars mon qui dit c'est haïti mais on connait qu'a dit c'est haïti l'autre là il y a aucun point gain de difficulté pour nous choisir moi-même, Haïti, il n'y a pas de problème. Tout le côté de mon aller Liban, à long à la campagne, nous allons aller. Pourquoi nous là Si deux personnes ne peuvent pas mettre la tête ensemble, pour nous choisir un côté, ça sont notre gros Ça veut dire qu'il faut nous prier pour bon Dieu mettre des nos harmonies, pour nous capables de choisir un côté. Mais ça, c'est un sujet. Pendant qu'il y a fait plan, pendant que Wadev est famille, a fait plan pour Haïti, c'est si mon yo kounya pa dans un environnement qui pas bon pendant que n'a décidé pendant que bon avant bon de bon nous répondre pour qu'il me rete là dans environnement que me connaît cap 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 mener si mon moi à la perdition on comprend ça kounya ça me ka faire OK chérie et me faut nous mon côté nous hier là en attendant que n'a prendre décision pour nous capable vivre en Haïti parce que elle vivre en Haïti pas juste le jour jodi elle vivre en Haïti sans que pas de préparation qui fait et c'est tout via Haïti, on a notre bloc de tête chargé là. Et nous tous connaissons ça comme Haïti. Donc, si que ne fait pas de préparation pour Haïti, et ça prend du temps, en attendant, parce que les pays bon pour les familles, pour tirer le colis dans la cité, à côté de quelqu'un, ou tirer le colis à côté de l'apport, et puis pour faire des préparations pour les spirituels, en attendant que les familles sont en Haïti, moi, c'est ça que je pense que c'est plus bon. All right, thank you very much, sister. Elder Adley. Oui, pour moi-même, je eh, vais une réponse à la question. Je vais donner une expérience que je vais partager. Il est vrai, expérience, c'est une expérience, madame. Oui. Mais, pour une raison, pour une autre, ça attire l'attention. Je me dis, et la prière comme ça, on change l'idée. Yes. Yes. La prière qu'on fait, capable de faire conjoint, on vient de son même page dans sa main. Parce que, parce que, si bon Dieu est capable de même changer l'idée, Lyon, qui est capable, qui normalement est de manger Daniel, mais au lieu de manger Daniel, la force là, eh bien, il te servi le besoin pour le dormir. Le besoin n'a pas là pour le dormir. Pour le dire, je ne dois pas être Je me rappelle, moi, et moi, ma madame, moi, lorsque nous sommes mariés, pourquoi c'était toujours un rêve, non, pour que nous soyons capables de petit petit. Mais moi-même, en tant que garçon, je me dis toujours ouais, que oui, il faut nous faire petit petit, mais c'est pour le moment ça. Un an passé, deux ans passé, trois ans passé, beaucoup sous petit. Je parle de mes petits, mais beaucoup sous petit parce que pour moi-même, il y a deux bagages qui doivent être réglés d'abord pour que nous ayons une bonne position économique. Deux que nous avons besoin de faire un fonds d'abord, laisse ça d'avoir un petit. Toute la semaine journée, chaque commandant a parlé de petit, il dit non, we have to wait. Mais nous vivons là, madame, pas jamais me dit rien encore. Et pas jamais me dit rien encore, mais pourtant, lui prend, lui prend, lui prend pas la prière, lui. La prière, la prière, ouais, madame a prié, madame a prié, et puis, 
pendant la prière, on leur livre une source ensemble avec moi encore. C'est garder, me garder, moi, moi, naturellement, moi, d'accord avec ma Wow, that's prayer. Wow. Ouais, c'est garder, me garder, moi, d'accord, me dit, bon, leur arrive vraiment. Leur arrive vraiment, so, uh, we're going to pray to God and we're going to get peace. But anyway, les euh, gens qui font partager ça, et bien que l'expérience là, l'expérience là, il fait sous moi. Mais <laughs> anyway, ce que je veux vous montrer, c'est que nous même mesdames, si nous ne sommes pas sous même pas avec nous, quel que soit le bagage que nous devons faire, depuis c'est la volonté de Dieu qui est bien, venez vont le ou pas, ou si ce qu'on parle, ou prier du tout. Amen. Si on parle, si on parle, on prie et puis c'est gado à gado, Mario, je ne sais même pas ce qu'on parle. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Elder. So let me just make sure uh, I kind of resume what he just said here so everybody can understand. So the question was, um, what do you do if your spouse would not leave the cities, but you see the necessity to leave, do you leave them and just go and just leave them behind? So Elder was saying how uh, a lot of time we need to pray about things more. Instead of doing, we should pray, and prayer can change everything. And he just gave a testimony where in his own life where prayer had changed uh, something powerful, had moved mountains. Because, you know, sometimes when not Uh, the person doesn't want to do something, but if it's God's will and you pray about it, yes, God can change their mind. We believe that. So prayer can do anything. So a few things, you know, we have to remember. When we decide to move into the country to leave the cities, you're doing it, you're not hiding. That's number one. Wherever you are, they know where you are. <laughs> you're not hiding. And and secondly, uh You do it uh, for the sake of your children, to save your children, and to, and for you too. Because sometimes we we seem to think that um, oh, the children need to be shielded away from temptation. But you, you, I'm a grown up. I, I can discern. No, the more you see wickedness, you the more you become numb to it, and you become it is becoming less sinful to you. It's the same thing. The same way we all, I always give that example. If you go to the beach, if you go to the beach, you see people, you know, pretty much naked, you know. The same way the ladies dress in the beach, if you were to go to the house and you see them, the same way they were dressed in the beach, if they dress the same way in the house, they're going to run. Oh, they're going to run, you know, kuvikoyo and stuff like that. Oh, well, Why? Why? Why you can dress like this at the beach, but if somebody see you like this at your own home, you feel uncomfortable? Why? It's because at the beach, other people are doing it. So then it becomes okay. See, that's the issue, saints. Le nous n'a mis tant au milieu tout problème, toute iniquité, immoralité, ça y Mais il semble qu'il est OK. Il semble to be OK because everybody is doing it. So it seems to be OK. That's the danger. And we are being changed imperceptibly. We, nous ne pouvons pas réaliser ça, but we are being changed. Longtemps, le, you know, sous pop de télévision, où est deux garçons, you know, ta kiss or something. Moi, ça me mourir dans moi, mais qu'on y est là. The problem is, they who have got a TV, they everywhere now. So people see it more and more. They, it's becoming more acceptable to them, not to God, but to them. So we are living in the cities, not just for the children, but for ourselves too, saints, because we need to put ourselves in a situation where uh, we're not seeing these things constantly. Because the book, the Bible says, in fact, let's open our Bible, okay? Let me... I just remember a text. Let's go to Psalm. I just remember this text here. Uh, let's open our Bible to Psalm, okay? I know we'll be doing a Psalm. 
let me go there first and I'll find out exactly the verse. Okay. Let's go to Psalm. Okay, Psalm 101. Let's go to Psalm chapter 101. Psalm uh, 101. I don't believe it's a, um, I don't believe it's a toi. Okay. I don't believe it's a toi. Psalm 101 verse 3. Uh, if you're able to uh, find it, I'm going to go ahead and read it, okay? Psalm 101 verse 3. Psalm, 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 Psalm verse 3. This is what it says. This is David speaking, okay? He's speaking about integrity. But he said, I will set no wicked thing in front before mine eyes. I hate the works of them that turn aside, and it shall not cleave to me. Saints, David dit que les papes mettaient un rien qui, un rien wicked, un rien qui méchant, un rien qui evil devant Dieu, un qui impur devant Dieu, parce qu'il connaît que si il met le devant Dieu pour le garder, il fait un effet sur lui. Il fait un effet sur lui. So that's the same issue that we're facing in cities. We're constantly beholding these things, and they are changing our character, and we don't even realize that. You know, Satan is saying, yes, I got them. I got them right where I want them. You know, let them think because they go to church on Sabbath that they are okay, but imperceptibly they are being changed. Okay. Any other questions? Anything else somebody has tonight? We were talking about the necessity to leave the cities and to the country, and we saw a lot of uh, uh, a lot of reason why we need to be doing that. Uh, any question? Any questions about anything? Even if it's not about this topic tonight, but uh, whatever questions that you may have, uh, the brethren here will be able to uh, assist in answering your questions. Anyone have anything they want to share or want to add, want to ask? Okay, I'll give you a moment to... uh, I'll give you a moment to uh, get your questions together. I'll give you a moment. Just think about any questions that you might have, and then we will talk about them. While we're waiting for your questions, uh, I will play a little uh, background music while we wait for your questions or anything you have. Thank you. We have a we have brother Fabrice. Want to chime in a little bit? Go ahead. Um, this is okay. Good evening and happy Sabbath to everyone. Um, so first, I'd like to ask my question. Um, I kind of piggybacking off of what the sister asked earlier. You know, in today's society, once you're 18. You make your own decisions in in America, that is, and you're you're pretty much um, on your own. But on the flip side of that, I want to know, you know, that's not obviously when you're 18, you're not on your own, um, even though this is what the society uh, um, has, um, has has perpetrated throughout generations. But I, on the other hand of that, I want to know when is um, or I don't even know how to ask the question because the Bible talks about honoring your parents and that's a commandment. And it says it's the first commandment with promise and it doesn't give you an age limit for that. You know, 
And there's no specific point in the Bible where it says, okay, as a, an adult at this age, you don't have to listen to your parents anymore. So my question is, is like, has anyone read in the spirit of prophecy or in the Bible where, you know, for the case of someone who is a present truth believer and has parents who don't really believe in the present truth who think that, you know, he is extreme because they don't read the, the spirit of prophecy. Um, and in the case that um, it, it's an adult person with their own family, you know, past the age of, you know, 18, an adult, how do we, how does, because I read somewhere one time that Abraham, even though he had his, when he had ventured out, he had grown children, they had their own families, but then his word was law. So whatever he said, the other fa- his, his children fell in line, even though they had their own families. So I'm trying to find a balance, you know, in that equation. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. That's a very important question. Um, very important. So, question, no, I, no time to question, but brothers and sisters, the uh, question is, si que, est-ce que nous peut-être qu'on une idée de qui, est-ce que qu'on lage, le la Bible dit pour honorer les parents, les parents ont lage, que, you know, they believe in a lies of our being obeyed. Of course. Now, if you are on, on for me, you can pity to get mad at me, but parents, because you don't accept the message you accept. You can't think that, well, you can't think that you're a fool. So, uh, the, what he's really asking to, is, essentially is, uh, when is it okay, I guess, Uh, qui le li 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 pas problème pour uh, uh, pour ça c'est pas ta obéi when would it, would it be okay not to uh, obey especially if they're not leading you to God si yo pas um, si ça pas enseigner c'est pas volonté bon Dieu pas diriger vers Dieu qui le li okay then pour pas ta listen to them because nous exemple Abraham mais le Abraham était un grand petit whatever Abraham dit tout le monde obéi So, um, what do you guys think? Uh, we have other here that has a answer, has an answer for this. Elder, go ahead. Well, hi, brother from Greece. Happy Sabbath to you, and happy Sabbath to everyone else, or whoever I uh, just joined. My answer to that would be the same answer that Peter had. We would rather obey God rather than man. Il faut obéir à Dieu plutôt qu'aux autres. That's the best answer that I can, I can have at this point. Yes, we, may, we, we must honor, uh, honor our parents, but when it comes to the save the Lord, we will obey God rather than man. Because after all, our parents, you know, is in the man, man category. So God is about everything. So we will all be God rather than man. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Elder. And even if even if we take it further, um, if we go to Ephesians 6, Ephesians 5, 30, um, no, Ephesians 6, verse 1, Uh, well, uh, let me let Brother Fabi talk first, then I'll share that verse. Brother, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Sorry. I just wanted to add the caveat. I know, I, I appreciate your answer, Brother Elder, uh, brother Adler. I agree. Yes, it is better to obey. We ought to obey God rather than man. And, you know, if there, if any instance where we, if there is any instance where we should disobey our parents, it's when we are convicted by the Holy Spirit uh, of the way we should go. But, um, you know, I, if you've never been in that situation, you would understand. It's, um, uh, it's, it's not an easy place to be in. You're, you're right. an adult, and you want to be submissive. You want to, be, you want to honor your parents, but you also have convictions that you want to live out. And here's the, the struggle that I have. 
I live out my convictions, and I try to be respectful and kind, but because I don't obey, because I'm not doing exactly what my parents desire for me to do, then they perceive it as me being disrespectful, and they are right. distancing themselves, and the relationship is deteriorating. You know, at times it, 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 it ebbs and flows. So, you know, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like this, the relationship is safe. I want to be there to be a positive influence. I want to also be, I want to be safe too. When, I, when the Bible tells me to honor my parents, I ought to do that. So it's not a matter of whether I am going to obey. It's a matter of how do I obey? How do I maintain the peace? How do I balance living out my convictions and leading my household um, and, and still maintain a submissive and honoring spirit? Right. Okay. I see. And, and I could imagine, I could imagine this would be a tough situation to be in where, you know, as a Christian, you're trying to live, because the Bible says to, be, to, live, to live peaceably with all men. That's what Paul says in uh, I think in Second Thessalonians, I think. I, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, where he says to live Peaceably, as far as lay, uh, as far as it is within your power, you need to live peace, peaceful, peaceably with everyone. So, as a Christian, of course, you want to. Uh, there's a certain image uh, you want to project. You know, you you know you don't want to uh, you you don't want to uh, be known as somebody that's disobedient. I mean, nobody wants that. We all want to be loving and and obedient to our parents. Uh, and it could be could come down to where what the line of uh, what you have chosen for your life, they don't like it. They might think you are extremist. They might think you are a Davidian. They might think you have, uh, you have lost it. And they want you to do certain things. And what Brother Fabrice is saying, I could understand, if they're telling you to do this, and you know what they're telling you is not right from what you're reading from the Bible and from the spirit of prophecy. And when you don't do it, they, you know, especially, you know, Haitian parents, they're going to think, oh, now, but you know what you're doing is, is according to the word, is, is not is right. So it could be rough. It could be rough where your relationship with them will deter- deteriorate and it was going get, to just get worse and worse. So I could understand that. Um, uh, but the question that he's saying is, how do you balance it? Brother, let me tell you this. You can't. The, you, you you can't. See, let me explain something to you. Oh, I mean, I wish I can remember that verse right now. I think it might be First Corinthians 2, uh, where it says, and somebody can help me, where it says, um, uh, the, for the carnal man, uh, the things of God is foolishness. I think it's First Corinthians chapter two. I think I'm not quite sure. Uh, it talks about uh, the, the 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 carnal man cannot understand the things of God. Uh, let me see. I'm tr- I'm trying to see if I can find it. But anyway, I cannot find it. Uh, and, and the Bible, the Bible also talks about the Bible also talks about um, what does he say? Yes, First Corinthians two fourteen. Yes, yes, First Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, that's what I was looking for. First Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. Okay, listen to this. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Let me explain this to you, my brother. Righteous living is a rebuke to sin, to sinful living. Um. The person that is not truly surrendered, 
the person that is that is operating in the flesh, the person that is not that is living after the flesh, that's not after the spirit. That person, the carnal man, the natural man, the unconverted person. The Bible has many different terms for that person, right? Cannot understand the things of God. So if you're trying to live out a true Christian life, they're gonna look at you as the enemy. You're going to be the one that's going to, they're going to portray you as somebody that don't, they're going to portray you as somebody that's not being uh, uh, respectful. Like, as long as the person is not reading the word, like you, like, like, like not getting an understanding of the word, you can't, you, I know you said how to do it. You can't balance it. It's, it's either you go one way or the other. There's no ba- You cannot balance that. Like, if if the person is not being led by the Spirit of Christ, the person that is being led by the Spirit of Christ, they, the two of them can, will not see things eye to eye. He just won't. He just does not. It doesn't matter if that person is your dad, if it's your wife, you will not see things eye to eye. So as far as how do you balance uh, uh, obeying God and at the same time being uh, obedient, to, obedient to your parents, uh, being obedient to your parents, as long as your parents are not being led by the Spirit of God, they will not ever understand what you're saying. you got to take a side. It, it, like, let, it, it, I mean, I wish... I mean, I'm losing words, and I can't express myself the way I want to. Like, it, it is just impossible for you to be able to please somebody that's in the flesh as well as pleasing God. It, 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 it's impossible. You cannot do both. You, you see, that's where the issue comes in, and that's why that's why Jesus says in um, in John. Uh, I'm trying to see, I think it's John chapter, it could be Matthew 10 or John 10, where Jesus said, your worst enemies are going to be the one, those of your own household. Uh, okay, where he says that those will be your own, your worst enemies is the ones that are yet you are the closest to. So I'm just saying this to say this. Do, don't we want to honor our parents? Of course we do. But I'll tell you this. If our parents, if we are being spirit-led and our parents are not, there's going to be disagreement. It, it, it's just naturally it will happen. You see, Jesus didn't do anything wrong to the Pharisees. He didn't do anything wrong to anybody. But why did people, why were they looking to kill him? Why they felt like he was in a, an offense for them because of his righteous life? His, the righteousness, his righteous life was a rebuke to their sinful life. So automatically, those two will clash. So I know that's a long answer, but that's, that's, that's just the way. I know we are looking for a balance to please our people, to please our parents, not to be disrespectful to them. Of course, we're not going to disrespect them, but it will look as being disrespectful to them when we're not doing what they want us to do, you know, especially um, when it comes to the Word of God. So if we if we are being spirit-led and somebody else is not, whether it's a mom or dad or spouse or children, there's going to be clash. You're going to clash. You, you, you can't, you have to take a side. And and again, that's where we respect. Yeah, you're gonna respectfully disagree. Yes, they're gonna say you are being disrespectful. That you that you are you lost it. You are now uh, 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 with some uh, cult or something. They're gonna give you all kinds of names. But remember, Jesus said, you, to, you know, uh, the, the 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 servant is not greater than the master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. Do you know, when you read the book of Desire of Ages, the the life of Jesus when he was a little boy, do you know his brothers, they were his worst enemy? His brothers because of his righteous life. Read, read that chapter when you when you have a chance. I think it might be chapter 2 or maybe 4 in, in, in Desire of Ages where he talks about when Jesus grew up the way Jesus was growing up. 
that like his brothers were his worst enemy. They did, he didn't do anything wrong to them just because he was living righteous. And and his brothers, they, I mean, one of them wrote the book of James, and the other one wrote the book of uh, Jude. So th they came around, but it just goes to show you, um, the, you know, family members, there will be clash, especially if we both are not being spirit-led. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, anyone else want to say something? Or Brother Fabrice, I don't know if um, that makes sense or if you want to add something else or anyone else. Uh, that's a very valid question. Uh, how do we balance uh, the respect that we should have for our parents and obeying God? Anyone else? Anybody? Anyone else? Nothing. So I guess everybody satisfied with it, Fabrice. Uh, nothing you want to say? No. All right. Well, anything else? Anything else, guys? Okay. Uh, we have something else. Go ahead, brother. Um, tell the yeah, me, I, yes, I have a question. My question is about uh, uh, I, I'm trying to balance between, um, you know, getting like a mortgage, you know, from a, a bank or something, you know, uh, to buy a home or buy a land in the country. I see people, you know, buying, buy, you know, buying properties in the country as if they were buying properties in the city, you know, like getting in, like, uh, big loans and, and things like that. So I was, <laughs> I was just wondering, how do you balance avoiding, uh, avoiding uh, debt? Right, you know, right. Balance avoiding debt with that because we all know that we we are soon approaching the moment uh, in which we will not be able to buy ourselves. Moment mortgage so comment comment ça va le passer? Pendant ce temps, il y a monde qui dit bon, quel que soit agent pour mouvre là, même si son mortgage pour prend mouvre quand même, bah ça pas important à ce moment-là. Mais il y a l'autre monde qui dit tout, essayez pour pas à la question mortgage, surtout là pour mouvement ça parce que you want to be as debt free as possible. So how do you how can we reconcile those two ideas? I don't know. I don't know if you guys can understand. Yes, I I understand, my brother. I understand exactly uh, your question. So the question is for somebody. Anybody has an answer? We'll let you guys go ahead and talk. The question is, how do you balance this? If you're going in a country, should you should you just go get a mortgage, or should you just buy a piece of land and build your own house on it? Uh, what was the balance? Uh, uh, should we go into debt and get 15, 30-year mortgage and stuff like that? And as we know, the crisis is, is soon to break upon us. So his question was pretty much, how do you balance this? This is a very, like, very important, important question, I believe. Anyone want to uh, wanna uh, take a stab at this? Anybody? Wanna give their uh anybody wanna go ahead and help us out here? What how do you balance this? Should we go ahead and 'cause we know the Bible says that um uh Munna ki priti Munna ki priti comment dire serviteur mun ki munna priti na men la so have to keep those things in mind. Anything, guys? What do you think? Because 
uh, trying to get some help here. We have Brother Greg. Brother Greg. Yes, that's a very valid question that my brother Elder asked there. Um, The principle that we can safely start with in the Bible is that, like you rightly said, the borrower is slave to the lender. The Lord prefer that we do not owe anyone anything. Now, for you, for you to not owe on mortgage or land in the country or even in the city or in the country, somehow you would have to have acquired that property either through finance, because we still live in this world where it's, the, you know, the mortgage, the people that own the land and that own the homes, you know, they don't, they're not allowing you to come with faith. <laughs> you have to come with some practical means for them. You can say faith, I'm coming with faith, yes, but you have to come with some practical means. What do I mean by that? Let's say you want to move to the country and you find a property. You say, there's a lot here. There's no house on it, but I want it. And they, let's say they're asking 50000 for it. The Lord can open the door for you to gain the full 50000 or he may not open the door for you to get the full 50000 What do you do? I've known of people that purchased the land through a mortgage or what have you, and they and they made payments on it, and then the Lord opened the door and they, they paid off. There's plenty of people that started off with mortgages in the country, and they're debt-free because they've been here for, for some time. And some people, the Lord has opened the door with the – he had blessed them where they were able to move to the country, buy their land, and buy their property, buy a home and put it on it or or build. So – it's all on how the Lord opens the door. Now, your mindset should be, I want to be debt-free. But I believe because of certain people's circumstances, the Lord might say, okay, make this move for right now. And then further on, you know, we might not see what, what's in the future. But the main thing is means, means, the means. Because the mortgage, the, the, uh, the people that own the property – they want to see practical funds, rather, however you acquire it. The Lord can't do it. He could have you in the country debt-free, your house and your land. There's plenty of people that's here living like that, and there's plenty of people that, that are in the country that have a mortgage. Now, the thing with – the other thing that I'm seeing is that there's a lot of people that say, okay, I'm not going to have any debt, so they buy the land whether it's, you know, five, ten grand, they buy the land and they say, I'm going to build. Because they don't have the money up front to build their house, they do it little by little. And the little by little takes years. And because I'm, I'm in the home building, I, I do remodification, remodifications and I do uh, um, finished carpentry. And I come across a lot of folks in the country where the, the mental anguish, because they want to finish their house, but they're doing little by little as the the checks come in. They do little here, little here. So three, four, five years go by, and you know it, it become a it become a burden for them. So my recommendation, the first thing is to take it to the Lord in prayer and allow Him to open the door. You don't know how He would open it. You would tell Him straight. My preference is I want no debt. And he owns everything. He can do it. Take it to the Lord in prayer and watch him work in your situation. And that's the, that's the advice that I could give anyone. I've seen all types of scenarios here in the country. And I've seen the Lord come through for, for every single situation. So we don't want to close our mind and say, I won't do this. You know? But the mindset is, Lord, this is our situation. Glorify your name. You can have us move to the country and we are debt free. Or you can have us move to the country and however you open the door. But 
the main thing is glorify your name. Uh, Amen. Thank you very much, um, Brother Greg. Brother Sonny has something. I don't know if it's an answer to the same question or if he has another question. But Brother Sonny, you are on. Um, thank you so much, um, Brother, for making um, this point so clear. Um, I praise the Lord for that. And one thing, I have a question, but I want to make one comment on what we're talking about. Yomba thank you, Bonji, Montreal, throughout this week, que um, tu partages avec nous sous um, sou, sou group chat là. Um, bah, qu'on est qui est cité et non? But someone sent a video of the ministry um, Amazing Discovery côté que they are transitioning not just as individuals but tout ministry a in full they are transitioning to the country. Like moi ça, Man, Lord, this is powerful. And, you know, it always motivates me and encourages me when we moon up moves to the country. Um, but I've never heard a testimony could take you an entire ministry, move their entire being foundation to another location following the blueprint. That was encouraging to me. And then when I went, like him tell pray, pray, my dear Bonji, Lord, why am I gonna do? Because shak bag I'm gonna do, lend a hundred thousand, you know, still get guys who live mem say could six some mil, could cut some mil, million mem. And I said, Lord, I want acres so that we can affect our life. We will do, you know. But the one thing the Lord impresses me is interesting because I've never thought of this ever. Bon Dieu, impressionné pour mettre ça dans fond déplacement. And so, I want to appeal to you guys pour ne pas mettre ça dans fond déplacement. Your transition, your transition to the country, not that Kobu Abala sacrifice of fair could ever be enough to buy your country land, but let go buy Bon Dieu multiplier. And if you're faithful, Bon Dieu will make the way out of no way. And what I'm very mindful of is this. Let me do say, bon Dieu will do exceedingly and beyond what you could think or ask. So therefore, let me do a bon Dieu, I'm not only give me that, but better. Now, better may not always go according to my expectation, but through it all, I will see. I will see God through it. I will see the hand of God moving through it. Um, question que vous devez poser. And now that was my comment on the country thing, and that was just appealing pour nous capables de mettre ça en fond de placement. Prayerfully consider it. Um, but question que vous devez poser is this: the Bible says in Genesis 6:3 that um, the spirit of the Lord shall not always strive with men. But then again, before Jesus left, He says, "I will always be with you till the end of days." I will never leave you or forsake you. So, um, can someone give me some clarity on that? Okay. So, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, well, but before Genesis 6, uh, verse 3, we'll talk about that. But before we do so, we want to make sure that um, the question that Brother uh, Elder Carl de posé, uh, ça c'est une réponse pour lui, parce que, I, I, I believe um, the answer from Brother Greg was very balanced. Uh, so, and I'm kind of, on, I'm, I kind of see it the same way, where we don't want to put a, we don't want to put a limit on God. We don't want to say, well, you know, I won't do this. This is what he must be. You know, because I've seen, I've seen, I've heard so many testimonies, right? I've heard testimonies where people got into the country and they have a mortgage, and the way God opens that door for them to get it, you can't say it's not God. And they have a mortgage, you know. When you hear this, the, 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 I mean, I've heard some testimonies, man. Like people get things cheap, they cheap, but they're making payments on them. I mean, 
and, 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 you know, and you can't say it's not God who opened the door for them. And you got people that's in the country, they they debt free. Either they they building their they build their own home, they got their land. So I believe, you know, we should they we should say like Brother Greg says, I really believe that. Like we say, Lord, whatever will glorify your name, that's what we wanna do. It, you know, if it be that God gives you a mortgage and then he that like you open a door and you pay it off, you never know. Like we can't limit him. So I mean think about it. Even if you have a mortgage, right? Even if you have a mortgage, because like, there's something we need to think about too. I didn't want to forget to say this. So let's say you have a home in a country and no mortgage, and this other guy has a home in a country and he has mortgage, right? So some of the law passes can't buy or sell. We don't know how long the Sunday law is going to um, be. Now we're talking about the first phase of the Sunday law, where you just can't buy or sell. The first phase. We don't know how long it's going to be. If it's going to be months, years, we don't know. All right? First phase, first phase, whether you can't buy or sell. At that moment, the guy who has his own land, his own home, he can stay in his home no problem. The guy who has the mortgage, uh, they, you're going to have an issue because they're going to come get the, get the house. Now, Usually you you don't get kicked out of your house or you don't lose your house just like that. I think it takes months before they they like, come and take the get you out, take the house from you. I think it takes months, and we don't know. Like I said, we don't know how how long the uh, the, the Sunday law will pass. Now let's say both people are able to stay in their own home. Now the Sunday law now come to the second phase. Now when you at the second phase, saints, whether you had paid for your own land. Whether you had mortgage, listen, you got to go for the mountains. It just does not matter at that moment. Even if you had 20 years left on your mortgage or even if you already paid everything off, at that moment it does not matter because you have to take it to the mountains because people are looking now to kill you. But they're great. No, what what you said, Brother um, Mark, that is spot on. Praise the Lord for that. Um, what I wanted to add was just that um, the the Sunday law is very possible it's going to come like how it did with Constantine. Constantine, when the first Sunday law came in the year, I think, 331, I believe it was, he, they locked down the city but the people in the country was free to continue life as usual, especially those that was in agriculture, et cetera. Yep. And I believe when the Sunday law comes, there's going to be so much chaos, so much things going on in the city for them to get control that people in the country will have some time to be ignored. Even if it's very possible, even if you had a mortgage and then now, you know, like brother Mark was saying, the foreclosure process, sometimes that's stuff, I've known people that stayed in foreclosure homes for a year, two, two, three years. You never know. The Lord, the Lord could blind these guys' eyes. <laughs> he can work miracles. But I know for the first part, when the Sunday law comes, they're going to fo- focus on what they can control, which is going to give the people in the, in the country some time. After they have the city under control and they realize, okay, now, we we everybody has made a decision but there is a group there is a group that is causing all of this to continue we have to go after them that's when they're going to come after every single one that refused to bow and like brother mark rightly said then whether you mortgage or no mortgage you're going to have to flee now if you pray you say lord we want to follow your will you open the door for country living and then a property comes up, and it's a mortgage. And you and, your, you and your family go into prayer, and then the prayer and the worship, the Bible study, the providence, everything keeps saying, go, 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 go. And you guys are sincere. This is the Lord. And you pray. One of the prayers that me and my family like to pray is that if it's not your will, Lord, close it. Even if we like yeah. it, if it's not your will, close it yes. because we don't know better. Yes. We don't know better. Even if it's something we like, yes, we want this. You gotta, you gotta be content with saying, Lord, 
If it's not you, close the door. And he will. Yes. But if he opens that door, you go trusting that he has a plan. He has a plan because God, he will tell you, don't owe any man, but God can override anything that he said. He has done it with um, Gideon. Gideon was not a priest, but he allowed Gideon to go in and officiate as a priest. That was forbidden. Only the Levites could do that. It's the same thing with, with, with David when he went into the sanctuary and ate the bread and Jesus said, you didn't hear what, did you not hear what David did, which was wrong? You see what I mean? So the Lord has a way of moving that he said is his ways is not our ways, our ways is not like his way. So we shouldn't put him in a box. We should allow him to do as he so choose, but making sure that, Lord, this is you, right? And then move forward, whether it's no mortgage or however he opens the door. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. I think Brother Fabrice has something as well he wants to add to this. Hey, this is going to, to Brother Sonny's uh, second question, or, or first question where he asked about the spirit withdrawing from the earth. Um, the whole idea with the sanctuary message and with um, with the work that Christ is doing right now, in the antitypical day of or in the typical day of atonement on here on earth, when the Israelites were to present themselves and the high priest was to go into the most holy place, that day was the day where they were to clear the sanctuary of the record of sin, and so um, that represented the times where we're living in now. And so remember that Second Corinthians chapter six, I believe, and, and maybe chapter three, it tells us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit of the Holy Ghost. Uh, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So the idea is that the cleansing of the sanctuary that took place in the literal um, manifestation early is the cleansing that is to take place right now. Acts 3 verse 19 tells us that uh, repent and be ye therefore converted that your sins may be blotted out during the time of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. So we see that the blotting out of sin is taking place right now in our bodies, which are the temples Christ. And Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 27 says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. Revelation chapter 21 tells us that when um, a new Jerusalem descends, that they need no light and they don't need a temple because God is with them. He is their temple. Or, or the temple of God is amongst men. So wherever God comes to dwell is the temple, is his temple. So when the Holy Spirit withdraws his presence from the earth, he's leaving the earth, but those who have made themselves temples will still have him in their hearts. So yes, he'll be with those who accept him and prepare their, their bodies to be a living sacrifice, a living temple. So he's, he'll, he'll be with them forever. But those who desecrated and defiled they, their sanctuary, their temple, like Satan and Lucifer did, when, when they defile that temple, it'll be forever uh, too late once the Holy Spirit finally withdraws. Um, so I think that, uh, for me, that's what answers the question. The Holy Spirit does leave the earth, but he'll be living inside of those who make themselves temples or tabernacles for God. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much. And when Jesus said, I will be with you always, you know, you got to remember, you got to read it into context. When you read Genesis 6, 3, where he says the spirit of God will not always strive with men. And then when Jesus said, I will always be with you, you got to read the context of Genesis, Genesis 6, 3, what was going on at this time. Let me read you something. This is, this is what uh, verse 5 says. And God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. So that was the situation that was going on with the Sony at that time. Um, that's why God was saying, hey, my spirit will not always strive with this generation because the, 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 the thoughts are evil continually. They're not making their bodies the temple for the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from those people that are 
uh, that whose mind is evil continually. Okay, so Jesus will always be with his disciples. Jesus said, "If you abide in me," John chapter fifteen, abide in me, I in you. So if you if you abide in Christ, Christ will always abide in you through the Holy Spirit. So He will always be with us. Those uh, who make themselves vessels, who make themselves uh, the, the 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 temple. Uh, keep it clean he, where he can live through the Holy Spirit. He will always be with those people, but the ones he will leave are the ones whose thoughts are evil continually. And you once once you've done that, you've grieved away the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit will not always strive with you. So that's the answer for your question, Brother Sonny. Um, so, uh, yes, going back to uh, the, the the question, Brother brother. Uh, uh, Edda Carl, Edda Carl, let me unmute your line. I know you had asked a question, and there's many answers being given to your question. What do you, do you have something, uh, are you satisfied? you have something you want to add, Brother uh, Carl? Man, I couldn't be more satisfied. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brother. I, uh, two things that caught my attention is the... Uh, 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 de Plasma uh, from Brother Sony, and then the last intervention that uh, Brother Greg made, you know, uh, completed everything. So, praise God. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to be open. Yeah, I'm open. I'm open to anything that the Lord would want because uh, naturally I'm afraid of death. I don't like death. Right. I, I, I just don't. Yeah, I just don't like that. So, but anyway, I am satisfied. Praise God. Yes, brother, thank you. I mean, we all we all are afraid of it. None, none of us would like to have debt. I mean, any all of us would rather have a home in a country where, you know, it's all paid for. You know, we. I mean, of course, of course. But um, a lot of time. God let things happen just so his name can be glorified. Do you remember? Do you remember when God said said to um said to uh, Moses when Moses went to tell Pharaoh to let the people go, God said to uh, Moses, "Listen, he will not let them go. And because he doesn't do it, you will see how my name will be glorified will, uh, uh, among them, the fact that he's not doing this. He's not letting them go. See, sometimes the devil he seems to be having his ways. It's fine. God let that happen so that when he get you out of it, the glory will be even greater and people cannot deny it. That's why, again, another reason, too. Let's, stay, let's go to uh, John 11, right? Uh, uh, um, um. Lazarus, the story of Lazarus. They came and told Jesus that Lazarus was dead. I mean, was sick unto death. He waited, I think, was it three or four days? Four days? He waited, and then the man died. He looks like Satan is winning. No, no, no. Jesus let it get worse so that, so that when he get you out of it, the glory will be even greater. So then people cannot deny it's, all, it's the Lord. So, my brother, it could be that the Lord wants you to, to, to open a door for you, and it's a mortgage you have in the country. It could be that, you know, the Lord is preparing things that way. When he works something out on your behalf, there's no denying that it's the Lord because the glory will be greater. So we have some examples in the Bible where God let things happen looks as if Satan is winning, but when he comes through, no one can deny it. Because remember, when, remember when uh, he resurrected Lazarus, the Sanhedrin, the leaders, they wanted to kill Jesus, but they said, here, hold on. If we're going to get rid of Jesus, we might as well get rid of Lazarus because this guy is, is a living testimony. Everybody knew he had died, and now he's walking around, so we need to get rid of Lazarus. You see? <laughs> so they could not deny 
that Lazarus had, re- had been resurrected because he had, he had died and he had been resurrected. So the glory was so much greater. As, can you imagine if Jesus had went early and just when Lazarus was just sick and he just uh, 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 made him better? And he would not have been as, as, as great as it is uh, when he actually let him die. And then uh, four days later he came and resurrected him. Uh, Brother John. Moi, vraiment, senti satisfait d'un pile belle réponse qui baille dans la question que je vais poser. Ça permet que nous apprenions plus. Je pense que tout le monde qui souligne, nous avons trouvé belle réponse à eux, capable d'aider nous. Et ça que je voulais ajouter en dernier mot, je préfère que vous avez un mortgage dans le country qui dit mille fois tant que vous avez un mortgage dans le site. Seulement ça, je vous Amen. Thank you very much, brother. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Thank you. You know, that's how I like it when the brethren, when we all come together. Because the Lord might impress you on something, and he doesn't impress me on it. And sometimes I'll, you ask a question, I can't think of anything. But another brother would come, the Holy Spirit would talk to them, and then just give us a, a, an answer that we were not thinking about. That's why it's important for all, for all of us to come together, to work together to finish this thing, saints. So um, I say praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord to this. Uh, because you see, it's better that you have a mortgage in the country than in the city. Because so either way, you're going to be paying something. If you're in the city, you're paying something. Hey, you know, you're not living in the city for free. You're paying something. So if you're going to pay something, you might as well be paying something in the country. So thank you, Brother John. Thank you for that. Um, all right. Is there anything else before we go? Anything else, guys? Today we see the importance of uh, leaving the cities to go into the country. There have been some very good questions, and by the grace of God, there have been some powerful answers. Uh, Brother Sonny. Um, the question that I had is not in regards to country living, um, but I do thank you all of you who, who did share some feedback. Um, those are very good points and things um, that I can personally consider as well. Um, it's always a blessing to counsel among like-minded um, believers. Yes. Um, the question that I had is that in Revelation 21, 7, 21 verse 27, Apocalypse 21 verse 27, um, besides Revelation 21 and verse 27, is there any other verse or um, books in the Bible that talks about um, do you remember that verse I can't remember where but the first thing that just came to my mind is remember there's a verse in the Bible and you can you guys can help me find it where it talks about uh, in heaven there's nothing that's going to be bad and defiled that's going to come in wherein dwell in righteousness that's the key word I remember the verse that says uh, in heaven uh, dwells righteousness, stuff like that. So anywhere there's righteousness, sin cannot be. That's why for Jesus to carry our sins in his body, the Father had to be separated from him. That's why he said, Father, 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 why have thou forsaken me? Sin is, uh, righteousness is not there. Where righteousness is, sin is not there. So there, I can't remember the exact verse, but it says, Wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's the only word I remember from uh, from the verse. I don't know if anyone else can think of uh, any Bible verse um, that they can share with. Uh, anyone else have something? Anybody has something? Okay, it is Second Peter three thirteen. Uh, I, I just looked it up here. Uh, let me go to it. Second um, Peter uh, D, 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 
3, verset 13. Abeli. Ok. Yes. Second Peter 3. Um, Second Peter 3, verse 13. Uh, it says, in fact, in fact, l- let's back up so you can get the context. Second Peter, Second um, Peter 3, verse 12, it says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse 13 says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens and the new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. You, 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 see, you see that, Brother Sonny? Uh, uh, it, says, it, it says, wherein dwelleth righteousness in Second Peter 3.13. In heaven, if, like I said, if there's righteousness... Sin cannot be there. Brother Greg has something he wants to add. I, I was just going to add um, a few scriptures that uh, came across in context with what he's saying. Um, so, James, let me see. James um, 121 says, Wherefore they wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity, of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls if we go down to uh, revelation twenty two fourteen, blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city for with for without our dogs that's verse 16 and sorcerers and homeowners. And the concept is that there has to be a change, a change before we go to heaven. Uh, Matthew 18, 3 says, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of God. And I'll give you one more. Um... It says, let me see John 3, verse 3 says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And we know, um, I think it's Old Testament, I forgot which book says, Iniquity will not rise again the second time. So the purification, the purification process that is going on now, God is going to make sure that they get it right because they're not going to go through this again. So all those that will be in heaven will have gone through the the purification process, which is changing the nature of man back to the intent on what God had in the beginning, and that's through the power of the, the Holy Spirit. And what I like about... Um, one of my favorite texts in is in Philippians chapter one verse six. Being confident of this very thing that He which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And I, I there was one more, but I think that's pretty much it. What I wanted to share concerning that there was one more. Let me see if I could find it here really quick it says concerning um the refreshing of time it said we converted let me see iniquity many shall west go but okay um which okay we um acts chapter 3 verse 19 and 20 repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come forth, shall come from the presence of the Lord. Time of refreshing. There is no human being that can live with a stain 
of sin in them and see God. You will be destroyed. Because to him, he's also Lord and Savior, but he's also a consuming fire to, to, to sin. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto us. So the whole purpose of the plan of salvation is to, to change, to get man back to his intent where he will no longer be separated from God. And he's separated because of sin. And we have to get get sin out so we can behold God. That's the only way we'll be able to behold him and be in heaven. I hope that Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate it. Um, uh, uh, brother Sonny, I don't know if, uh, if if that's good enough. Let me un- let me unmute your line. I'm sorry, I didn't do that. Yes, but Sonny, um, is it, uh, or yes. you have something else um, you want to add? Or you? Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. But um, there was one you said in James in James, and also in Revelation 12 that I missed. Oh, was it me or him? No, bro, um, him. Um, but the great. Brother, he, he mentioned James, but great. And James and also Revelation okay. 12. Okay, Brother Greg, you have something in James. you remember the yes. verse you have in James? Yes, James one twenty one. Wherefore lay apart lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. James one twenty one and the one in Revelation is Revelation twenty two verses fourteen to fifteen. I'm getting this from there's a book called Entering the Sanctuary Experience by Vince Farrell. That's, um, it, it's a very detailed book on the sanctuary service and the plan of salvation, and that's where I'm getting these quotes back to back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Brother, Brother, Sa- Brother Sammy has something. Uh, yeah, good evening, guys. Um um, Brother Greg, thank you for all these texts, man. Um, that was one more that I wanted to share, and that one is found in First John three, First uh, John three, verse two and three. I'm just gonna share these two verses, and then I'll go ahead and get off, because Brother Greg already had given um, so many of them. It says, in verse two, beloved, now, now are we the it does not appear what we shall be. That when we shall appear, we shall be like this. We shall be the same as this. In verse 2, the same man that has this purified as he is pure. So that means that we must have you know, victory over sin completely. Uh, we must be righteous. We must we must be like Christ when he when he comes the second time. Uh, just another verse I wanted to add on there for my brother Sonny. You say you have another verse, right? Uh, th- oh wait, that was it. That was it. It was First John three, verse two and three. Verses two and three. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything else, guys, you have uh, before we close. Uh, We will go ahead and uh, close for tonight here Um, if there's nothing else. And let me take this moment to to thank everyone uh, for your questions, your very thoughtful questions and your answers as well. Are your biblical answers. I know only the Lord who knows how much, uh, uh, how effective these answers will be in the lives of those that are listening. So thank you um, for your presence and your participation. 
Uh, we'll meet again next Friday at 8 Eastern, God willing. And uh, we'll continue with uh, chapter 21. So tonight was very interesting. We saw how God wants us to be out of the cities. Very important. So it is uh, it is left uh, up to we. It is up to us now to, um, to to talk to God about it and ask Him to open doors. And like Brother Greg says, ask Him to close any doors that He is not the one that's opening. If it's not Him that's opening the doors, ask Him to close them, because we know Satan also have homes for us in the country. And um, so we thank you all um, for. Your presence. Again, before we go, um, let's go ahead and say a word of prayer. Eternal notre Dieu, notre Père. Merci pour présence soit avec nous à soir, parce que tu nous chasser nous chiter ensemble pour nous réunir, pour nous parler par parole, pour nous ouvrir par parole. Nous disons merci, Seigneur. Merci pour uh, belle question que tu posé, réponse que tu maintenant sous cœur nous. Nous disons merci. Nous bénissons et que tout ça que parler à soir est capable en façon pour que nous sommes capables là et, et non seulement édifier à salut, mais nous sommes capables de partager avec notre monde. Pardonnez-nous tant de qui que nous pouvons comme ça. Dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. All right, guys, thank you very much for your, for your presence. Uh, please be uh, sure to, to share this with other people, that, that way other people can be blessed by this. Thank you for your presence. I'll see you next week, God willing. Happy Sabbath, and have a good night.